Hey guys, it's Jonah here, and we're back for another Real Ale review. Real Ale from me to you. <laughs> and this is a weird weird one. This is the Amber Ale from Shepherd Neem. And this was part of the cheap beer series. This beer cost 98p, I think it was, from, I think it was Lidl. It might have been Aldi, but I'm pretty sure it was Lidl. Um, but also, as we all know, Shepherd Neem is a Kent brewery. Um, and this is going to form part of our review into Kent, the Canterbury Ales. <laughs> anyway, this is the Amber Ale uh, from Shepherd Neem. It's 3.8% on the ABV. Look at that bottle, lovely, lovely label on there. Um, we got a little neck chief, which is always nice to see. Brewer's Choice series, and um, they do a very lovely cap with the old ank on there or some sort of crop or something. Shepherd's Crook, there we go. Shepherd Neem after all. Um, and we've got the little sort of tasting notes that they, they always put on their uh, beers. And it says it's a mahogany color, uh, floral, fruity, citrus aroma, and roast and fruity, zesty taste. Well, we'll be the judge of that. Uh, does it give anything away? Uh, fragrant hops, but it doesn't name them. And it says pale malt, crystal malt, and brown malt to give it a nice colour. Hey, let's get it into a glass. Almost feel like it's not a good idea to take those off because it's such a lovely cap. Right, a bit of smoke on there. Oh, I'm getting, I'm getting some nice aroma already. And I'm getting Goldings, East Kent Goldings to be precise. Because there are other other ones, the Germans use a Goldings variety, and I believe Goldings are used in the New World too. This is room temperature, so we've got a, a good sort of two finger head on there. Very well carbonated. Look at that bad boy. Should have chilled it down really. Um, you can see me through there easily through those bubbles. Lovely colour though. Um, I'd say that was a sort of copper. I was going to name it, that would be a copper colour, I reckon. Let's go for a smell. Yeah, we're definitely getting those zesty, kind of spicy hops off the aroma. And in my book, I know Shepherd Neem, because it's in the locality, they use a lot of Golding's hops, and that's exactly what I'm smelling. Might be some other hops in there, but there's definitely Golding's in there. Wow, this is going to be, this is a very well carbonated ale. Let's go for a drink. Mmm. Yep, yeah, we're getting that Golding's taste. It's not as, not as prominent up front. I was expecting it to, to be with the bubbles, you know, bursting on my taste buds, but it's not really. I'm getting the sweetness of the malts, definitely, followed by a little bit of bittering. I would say it borders on the side of sweet. It's, it's almost in the middle, but it's slightly on the sweet side. So anyone that likes the proper bitters, mm, or even the IPAs, you probably won't be satisfied with this. But I, on the other hand, like a good dishwater pint, as I coined the term. <laughs> um, this is very nice. And for 98p, I'm, I'm liking this beer. Very, very easy drinking, this one is. The only thing is, it's only 3.8%. So it's not very alcoholic, unfortunately. And if you look at the label, there's a picture of a, a roaring fire, um, which indicates winter. Um, and as we well know, March is the start of spring, so winter supposedly is over. Um, and it says a winter warmer. Um, I don't think this one sits that well within the winter warmer category, because it's one, it's not alcoholic enough, and two, the colour isn't right. 
This is, I'd say this is more an autumn beer. Um, yeah, I definitely wouldn't call it a winter warmer. But Shep and Neem have done some very odd things lately with their beers. <coughs> Beg your pardon. Told you it was quite well carbonated. Um, yeah, they've been making very, very strange beers as part of the Master Brewers um, series of beers. And this is probably why it's going very, very cheap at the moment in Lidl. Um, other cheap supermarkets are available. <laughs> um, but if you like your dishwater beers, definitely get a couple of these. You probably drink four or five of these and not even feel it. Um, Uncle Jonah gives this one a thumbs up. You're drinking along at home, that's what you need to get. Master Brewer Amber Ale by Shepherd Neem. Um, and we'll see you real soon for another beer review. Till then, take care guys, we'll see you soon.